What's up guys, welcome back to the court. Phil here with Tennis Unlocked and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the cheapest racket that I could find online versus my racket, an expensive racket. We're gonna see if there's any difference in the amount of power that you can get from this cheap $13 racket versus a $200 racket. I got my trusty radar gun here. We're gonna hit some shots as hard as we can and see if there's any difference in the amount of power that you get from these two rackets. Let's do it. All right, guys, so the rackets we're testing out today are the Wilson Triumph with uh, Simona Halep right here and my Wilson 6195S. So let's take a closer look at these two rackets here. This is the Simona Halep Wilson Triumph racket. This was $13 and something cents at Target. And um, this is my Wilson 6.195S. S Wilson Triumph. These are both Wilson rackets. They both have 15 gauge string on them. Uh, so this string is actually pretty thick on this cheap racket right here. Um, and as far as build quality goes, uh, what you're gonna find interesting on this cheap racket is that it doesn't come with any grommets. So the grommets that protect the top of your frame here. Uh, if you're paying 13 bucks for a racket, you don't get grommets. So if you scrape this racket against the ground, um, it's just going to uh, start taking away from uh, the frame that you have here. Uh, also, with this $13 racket, if you notice, there's, there's a gap in between the frame here it's like um concave so basically i think they're just saving on material see how this my racket is full here this racket is just uh it goes in and it's very thin frame uh so they're just saving money on material but they're both wilson rackets 15 gauge string I put a shock absorber on this one, like mine, and I put a overgrip because it was too small. But uh, other than that, uh, they're both Wilson rackets. One is 13 bucks, the other one is 200 bucks. And uh, I'm just gonna hit some forehands, and I got my radar gun here, and I'm just gonna hit some forehands as hard as I can with uh, both of these. And I just wanna see if there's any difference in the amount of power that you get from a $13 racket versus a $200 racket. So let's give it a shot. All right, guys, so we're gonna start off with my racket, the Wilson 6.1 95S, a $200 racket. And I'm basically gonna hit about 10 balls and try to get an average speed for how hard I can hit these balls with my racket. And then I'm gonna do the $13 racket, hit 10 balls, see what the average speed, See if there's any difference between the speed that you can generate with a cheap $13 racket and a $200 racket. Now, I am definitely not trying to get these in. I'm just trying to hit them as hard as possible. So I'm actually going to aim into the net uh, with these shots so I don't have to go collecting all these balls afterwards. So let's give it a shot. All right, guys, so I took a look at the readouts for uh, my racket, Wilson 6195S, and uh, I got a 99, 96, 100, 105, 101, 102, 100, 103, 101. So it looks like I'm averaging about 100 miles an hour with my racket on the forehand. 
So now let's try out the cheap racket, see if there's any difference. All right, guys, so we tried out my racket, the Wilson 95S, the expensive racket, $200. Now it's time to try out the cheapest racket that I could find, $13 at Target. Let's see what the difference is between the two of these. I can already tell you there's a lot of vibration going on with this cheap racket, but uh, it feels like the strings are looser than they are on my racket, so I think that's going to help benefit with the speed. Um, but I can guarantee you this racket doesn't have as much control just from what I'm feeling as far as vibration from this frame. But let's hit 10 shots with uh, the cheap one and see what we get. All right, guys, so I got the cheap Wilson Triumph $13 racket here. And again, all I'm concerned about with this test is speed. I'm going to actually try and bury these in the net uh, so I don't have to go run around for the balls. So let's give it a go with the $13 cheap Target racket. Whoa, <laughs> that felt like it was pretty powerful. <clears throat> Two. <clears throat> Three. All right, guys, so taking a look at the radar for the cheap racket, I got a 99, a 111, which is way faster than I hit anything with my racket, and a 96, 102, 102, 106, 97, 101, 97, 106. So what I'm getting from these numbers here is because this string bed is a little looser, I think you can hit with more power but it's definitely not as consistent uh, as my racket was. So as far as the power goes, this thing has just as much power as um, an expensive $200 racket, which is unbelievable. 200 bucks, 13 bucks, and uh, you get just as much power from this frame as you do from this other frame which is pretty crazy. Um, but with that being said, I don't think I would recommend getting this racket just because the vibration on this thing is absolutely crazy. It goes right up your arm. And uh, after hitting for an hour with this thing, uh, I think your arm might fall off. So I still recommend going out and getting something that is a little more expensive, maybe in the $50 range if you're just starting out. But, um, all things considered for 13 bucks I mean this isn't this is not a bad deal and it held up the strings didn't strings didn't break um, a surprisingly good racket for 13 bucks 200 versus 13 and uh, the 13 held its own incredible all right guys if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button subscribe for more content and I will see you guys in the next one